Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Day and if you like these types of videos, if you love lock videos, have locks, or just interested in lock content, go ahead and subscribe and join the lovely family. And for those of you who have been here, thank you so much for coming back to see me and joining me for another lock talk video. I miss lock talk videos. I have decided that I'm going to continue to pick them up because I, I went through a stage where I just felt like there was nothing more that could be said. Like, if you go back on my page, like, I've been doing lock videos ever since I had this set a lot. So, a little less than about three years. So, I feel like I've said a lot. But even so, to this day, I'm getting a lot of questions. People want to talk about things. And I feel like, you know, why not? And then not only me discussing, but you guys discussing in the comments as well. So, today's lock talk topic is going to be about combining locks or starting over. Should you combine your locks, and I mean like put two strand twists all over your head or even a few, um, or should you just, you know, comb out your hair or cut your hair and start from scratch for a new journey? A lot of people do this when they feel like their sizing is off, their parts are off. You know, some people are a little bit more picky than others when it comes to their locks, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but maybe your locks are just too small. Maybe you want them to be thicker. Maybe you want them to look different in a certain area whatever i have been there before and you're just trying to decide if it's going to be worth it or not um if you're going to get the result that you want or if you should just start your lock journey over and just try again um so i will say that this lock journey i have not combined any of my locks at all um have i thought about it no because i have been there before in my lock journey the entire like front section of my hair i combined and i also combined several of my locks in the back so I know the entire process that it takes to combine locks and I, it's just not something that I would personally be willing to do again because I don't feel like I need to. Um, I started this lock journey so I kind of knew what I wanted and I'm okay with how my locks came out even though they're not perfect. However, I know there are some people who are just not okay with their set of locks and I get it. I was like that before because my locks I felt like were a lot of different sizes. They were too thin in certain areas. I really wanted like less locks. So that's why I went the combining route. I'm not here to tell you that one is better than the other, like one decision is better than the other in terms of combining all of your locks or cutting your locks and starting over. But I just wanted to give you some insight on what that might look like for you. Um, if you are combining your locks, there are like several different ways that you can do it. What I did was I just simply two strand twisted my locks and I would like add a piece of lock jewelry or even sometimes, which I shouldn't have done, a rubber band just to hold the locks together. And I would just wait and wait and wait for several months for it to just combine itself. And I would also uh, combine them at the roots. So I would open up one lock at the roots. I wish I had one open, but I would open up one lock at the roots and I would um, put one lock into that open lock at the roots so it would be combined so i would like thread pretty much thread one lock into the other and it would be like a, a two-headed dragon kind of look and then i would just two strands twist it down and just wait so from the roots everything that grew out you know new growth wise would be one lock but of course the ends were like two locks until they combine in order for my locks to combine it took the same amount of time that it took for my locks to bud and lock in the first place so for example originally my locks may have taken like nine months to lock when i two strand twisted them and combined them again it took nine months or more for them to combine and become one lock and for some of them even longer depending on you know like the thickness of the locks and things like that so it really is like a whole process essentially it is like starting your lock journey journey over again when you're looking for your locks to like you know be combined there are different methods i have seen some people like put two locks together and then take some thread and like thread the locks kind of like sew two locks together into one i wasn't comfortable with that just because one I, I do my hair myself and i just didn't really want the whole like so in my hair i just i wasn't comfortable with it i know that some people are and if you can find a professional that really knows what they're doing maybe that will be a better option for you um but if you're just going the classic route it is going to take like close to a year for your locks to combine that is just how they are and <laughs> i don't know you're gonna have like the two strand twist pattern in your hair for a very long time now that might not be an issue some people don't mind that you know i didn't mind it in my last journey but some people do so 
I just want you to understand that. Also, when you combine your locks, sometimes depending on your, your parting like method at the roots, it doesn't always look and feel the best. So when you are combining two locks together and you're pulling them at the roots, it can be uncomfortable sometimes. And for those of you who have done it, you know what I'm talking about. It will like pull in the wrong direction sometimes. And when you try to retwist or just like, you know, style your hair in general, in general, it feels awkward and it feels like it's pulling in a wrong direction where it's not supposed to pull. Sometimes that can often happen if the locks really aren't that close together or if they're just like, you know, too far apart in terms of like the sectioning, like they're not side by side, they're like up and down or diagonal to each other. Um, sometimes they can just, just be uncomfortable, like, you know, and in those moments where my locks were uncomfortable to combine, I just took them out because to me it wasn't worth it and I didn't feel like a uh, long term my locks were going to, you know, mold and grow out in a healthy space so essentially it just comes down to two things are you patient enough to wait for your hair to combine your locks to combine on them on their own and two um are you able to really get the locks close enough together to the point where the parting system is not going to look awkward and it's not going to be uncomfortable for you if you don't think you're willing to do all those to do like you know all of those things it might be best to just start over especially if you're one of the type of people that would comb out your hair some of you know that your locks are gonna lock within like six seven months so you know you can comb them out and start over and get the exact parting system that you want and yeah it, it will be no big deal i will say though that keep in mind like i always say Sometimes it is not up to your parting system. It's not up to the amount of locks you have. A lot of times it really is just the type of hair that you have, especially if you're going for like, oh, I want thicker locks or I want fuller locks. Yeah, of course, the less locks that you have, you know, the thicker they will be. But in terms of like the overall aesthetic, fullness, thickness, a lot of times it just comes down to the type of hair that you have. And if you understand that, you may save yourself some time um, instead of going through the process of trying to combine and things like that. Those are just my thoughts and my experiences. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys so much for joining me for another video and I will see you all in my next one.